Hello everyone and welcome to the Temple of Justice. I'm Mary Fairhurst, Chief Justice of the State Supreme Court. I would like to tell you today a little bit about our court system. The court system in Washington has four levels of courts. The courts at all levels hear civil and criminal cases. The court system in Washington looks like a pyramid. The bottom half of the pyramid are the trial courts and the top half are the appellate courts. The trial courts may have a jury and a judge or only a judge. A jury are people from the community who decide the facts and make the decision. If there is no jury, then the judge acts as a fact finder and makes the decision. District and municipal courts hear smaller issues, such as traffic violations, small crimes called misdemeanors, civil disagreements involving less than $100,000, and small claims of less than $5,000. Superior courts hear more serious issues. They can hear cases involving big crimes called felonies, such as robbery or murder. They also hear all juvenile cases, family law cases, and cases with civil disputes involving over $100,000. Moving up the pyramid, the next level is the Court of Appeals, which reviews cases from the trial courts that have been appealed. That means they only hear cases that have already been decided in one of the trial courts and only when one of the parties in the case doesn't think the court decision is right and they ask the Court of Appeals to review. At the top of the pyramid is the Supreme Court, which is where I work. I am one of the nine justices. The other justices elected me to be Chief Justice, which means I make sure everything runs smoothly and the work gets done. My term as Chief Justice is for four years. All justices are elected by the people for six-year terms, but must retire in December following their 75th birthday. The Supreme Court justices get to pick their cases. The cases we pick often involve conflicting appellate court decisions, important constitutional questions, and matters of substantial public importance. When it comes time for the oral argument at the Supreme Court, the petitioners, those arguing against the lower court's ruling, and the respondents, those arguing to keep the lower court's ruling, each only get 20 minutes to argue their positions. If they ask, sometimes the justices give them more time but more time is usually only five or ten more minutes. This may seem like a short amount of time, but remember, the justices know all the facts of the case because they have carefully read what happened in the lower court. They've also read in advance the legal arguments that both sides are making. Oral argument is the chance for the petitioner and respondent to explain why they think the ruling made below is correct or not correct, and to answer the questions of the justices. So that's a brief overview of the Washington State court system. Thank you for visiting 